Jared Poland, Frono's Photo. Dot com here with a 30 for 30 Lightroom quick tip video brought to you by the fine people over at Adobe. If you want to follow along, you can go to fronosphoto.com slash LR3030. You can download a free trial of Lightroom so that you can play along with all of the videos that we're making. And let's get into it. Here's an important quick tip, starring and rating your images after you bring them into Lightroom. This is something that's gonna save you a ton of time, but also help you find the right files when you want to edit them. So I do this a certain way. How you decide to do it is all on you, but let me show you a couple of the things that you can do. Right here, I'm in the library module. I'm gonna go ahead and double click here. Say I want this image, uh, I love this image, and I wanna edit this one, I'm gonna make it a five star. And then you can see five stars show up. And then I go on to the next one. It's like, ah, I don't want to edit this image. So I don't give it a star or a label at all. Some people flag them as don't edits and, and things like that, but you can choose to do whatever you want, whatever system works for you. But the reason you're going to go ahead and label things, say you just did a concert and you shot 400 photos. You're not gonna go through and edit all 400 photos. You're gonna go through on your initial pass, star the ones or label the ones that you wanna go ahead and edit, and then you're gonna edit those down. Say it's 35 keepers, which would be a terrible percentage out of 400, but say you wanna edit the 35 best of the best of the best with honor, sir, then you can go ahead and do that. It's gonna speed up your ability to do that. So let's keep going. Oh, I like this one. I'm gonna give it a five rating as well. You can say, ah, this isn't bad. I'll give it a four, but then you also have color. You could do six is going to be red and seven is going to be yellow, eight is going to be green and nine is going to be blue. Figure out what works best for you. And then at the end, you could also say filter by, uh, let's see, I want to filter by, where is it? Rated. And then here are the different options. Oh, I want all of the five stars. And there's the two five stars. And if I want to bring that four star back in, I can go ahead and show that four star just like that. So one other thing I want to give you as a quick tip is this auto advance thing. It's something that you can use. Go ahead and hit that caps lock and I want to go ahead and rate this with a four. Boom, four. And it's auto advancing to the next one. Oh, I like this. I want to give it a red one. Boom. Let's go ahead, give that one a yellow one. And it's going to auto advance anything that can save you time. This is a function that I personally don't leave on all the time because I want to stare at the images a little longer after I select them to see if I like them. But if you want to quickly get through them and have it auto advance, go ahead and hit that caps lock. And that is another quick tip. That's really important. If you want to check out more 30 for 30 Lightroom edition videos, go to fronosphoto.com slash LR3030. You can also download a free trial of Lightroom to try it all out for yourself. And that is where we will leave this quick tip. Jared Poland, fronosphoto.com. See ya.